Alright guys, so this unit did come pre-bleached and pre-plucked, so what I'm going to do right now is take the even tinted lace in dark brown, and I'm just going to coat it just because I didn't tint the lace. So this is something easy that you can get at the beauty supply store, super inexpensive. So now I'm going to show you guys how I cut this. This is not a race, take your time doing this. Luckily I have a tattoo right in that area so I know exactly where I need the fixture or the actual ear tab to land so when you're going to customize your ear tabs take your time it is not a race especially when you're cutting lace you want to make sure you get it right so therefore you're not snagging too many hairs out the way and that you have a nice perimeter so I always like to tell people do not rush this part right here because you can mess this up real quick and you won't get that lace back now I'm also going to show you guys, someone asked me a question about what I'm using right now to mark the lace. So I'm just using a, any type of brow pencil that I have and I'm just kind of marking the spot where I need uh, to put the glue at so I can adhere this down. So that's what I do. You can go ahead and use like a white pencil or like a light pencil, whatever it is. But if you want to make sure that your wig lays nicely and you have it perfect so you don't have like a messy perimeter with the glue, just make sure you go and mark the areas that you want. Alrighty guys, so it is the next day and the unit is pretty secure on, looks really nice and put together well. So I did go ahead and do a half up, half down look. So what I'm going to do is use my hot comb to get the perimeter mat slick, real nice. Now I am going to use a wax stick and some hairspray just to give it a nice slick appearance because I'm going to do a half up, half down. So I did two styles, I did the kind of like waterfall half up, half down and then I did like a little top bun. It's the same styling method so it's nothing new. I did go ahead with my deep wave which I think because the con this unit is bomb.com I really feel like the deep wave set this unit off to the T let me know what you guys think I do like it the straight version but I really think it looks nice with the deep wave so what I'm doing right now is showing you guys how I wrap um, the hair around the ponytail just to kind of conceal the the band and everything and I'm just using some hairspray it's a got to be cool hairspray I will do a review on this I've seen a lot of reviews on it. it's actually a pretty good product so I'm using that just to kind of tighten and seal the ponytail and everything. But you guys can see this unit looks so freaking bomb. I'm going in right now just to tweeze it. So this is practically the finished look, guys. Let me know what you guys think. All right guys, so this is a finished look of this super pretty unit right here. So this unit was sent to me from Eunice Hair Guys. So I did go ahead and just wrap the 
you know, top into a bun just because I felt like the bun looks really cute with this hairstyle. I did kind of like the half up, half down with like the waterfall, but I was like, you know what? I always do that. Let's just do like a top bun. This is not the hairstyle I would like originally go for, like regularly go for, but I was like, you know, highlights are popping. The length is nice. The density is nice. So I'm going to go for it. So I hope you guys like this look. I hope you guys like the install and everything so I can give you guys a good review because I've actually had this unit on for about four to five days right now. I'm going on five days, so I'll say four to five days. Um, um, the unit is very pretty. Now, the base color on this unit is like a chocolate brown color, which I really think is nice. Now, when you see this in a middle part style, a lot of the highlights are directly at the top. There are no highlights in the back portion of the wig, which I kind of feel like they should go ahead and make another wig and add the highlights all over just to give you an overall look. But I'm not complaining because this is still a pretty unit. So, if you watch other reviews, some girls will show you it in the side part, middle part. You can go ahead and watch how they style it. So, I decided to go ahead and style mine with a half up, half down with this cute little 90s inspired look. I already showed you guys a video on this type of look, but I wanted to do it with longer hair, so I hope you guys like this look altogether. Um, the hair for me is like about 24 to 26 inches long, so it's a long unit. The density is a great density. I reviewed another unit from this company last week or two weeks ago, and I'm telling you guys, the units are absolutely worth it. This unit actually came pre-plucked, so I did absolutely nothing to it. Um, and actually, I think it came pre-bleached, and I didn't do anything at all either. So this unit is basically like a complete unit. The cap size on this one is a true cap size, guys, medium to average cap size, and this unit fit my head to the T. No extra customizations when it came to the ear tabs, which is something I do appreciate, especially for the ones out there that don't know how to customize units. You sometimes want to buy units that you don't have to do anything to. So units here definitely provides units where it's less work on the customer, which I do like, or the consumer, which I do like. I will turn around and show you guys what the back looks like, but I think that this style came out nice. I do like this unit in the middle part style or side part style, but I do feel like they did focus a lot of the highlights at the top and they didn't, you know, do it in the back. So I kind of feel like it's just kind of like in your face when you do like a middle part or a side part. So I decided to kind of play it up and do like a half up, half down. If I wear this, I'll probably do it in a deep wave style just because I feel like the deep wave style definitely gives you more of that summer vibe, that kind of like summer vacation, even though we're not going on vacation, but you know what I mean. So all in all, guys, I think that this unit is pretty solid. Um, I do receive like a little bit of shedding, but nothing too crazy. Tangling is at zero. And other than that, I think it's a quality unit. I think the blending and everything came out pretty nice, guys. You can see air tabbage and everything. I did slight baby hairs around the perimeter because I didn't, I was doing these two little pieces. And I didn't feel like I had to go OD with the baby hairs. So let me know what you guys think. I will leave all the information down below per usual, guys. But do not forget, guys, to thumbs up this video. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe and share this video with your friends and family, people, and I will catch you guys in a later one. Bye.